Here I am in uh, Glasgow. I'm stood outside uh, the place where I'm staying, which is called Safe Stay. It's a bit of a strange place. It seems like they're going through some kind of transition at the minute. There's a lot of building work going on outside, so I'm probably going to get woke up tomorrow. Um, yeah, it was, it was very strange. I asked if they had any towels, and they said they didn't have any towels for dorm rooms. Um, then they changed their mind and said that um, I could rent a towel a five pound deposit um, and then they said they didn't want the deposit because they were cashless so they ended up giving me two towels uh, both of which are the biggest towels I've ever seen yeah it's a 12 bedroom and only one bathroom but there's about five or six uh, people staying there so it shouldn't be too much of a problem <laughs> I'm in the three and one uh, fast food place. It's supposed to be good, it's got real good reviews. And we have a ticket for that for £4.50. So we'll see how it goes. Well, that was a really good kebab. Really good. £4.50 for a lamb ticket kebab. Um, there's loads of fast food places around here. I'm about five minutes walk from uh, my where I'm staying. Um, but yeah, I think I might be going there a few times. There's no. Uh, option to cook anything in where I'm staying so I'm going to be eating out all the time here so I'm going to spend some money um, but I think I'll be definitely going back there right now I'm stood opposite uh, the garage uh, which is a uh, famous nightclub in, in Glasgow and um, just over there next to Caspian Clubs and on this side there's Nice and Sleazy and that's where I'm going so let's check it out doing a good set in a stereo bar um, but it's about 15 pounds to get in so I'm not buying that so I just tried to get in a place called the Howling Wolf which is um, a live blues bar and there's live music playing it sounded pretty good looked a lively place a lot of pubs shutting down at 10 o'clock uh, which is surprising but this place probably is up in all three and uh, yeah, so I tried to get in, but uh, I couldn't get in because um, I'm wearing these trousers. And apparently, infectants are not allowed in live blues bars in Glasgow. So, plan B. So, it's Monday morning, first full day in Glasgow. I've not decided what I'm going to do yet, but uh, all days must begin with coffee, so that's my first stop. Let's do it. I just had a delicious coffee at an Italian place called Smile. Um, and I'm going to the uh, uh, Contemporary Art Museum. That's going to be my first stop. So I've just visited the Contemporary Art Museum and found all the galleries were closed. So I'm not up to the best start. Uh, so I think today I'm going to do the street art trail. Um, but first, breakfast. Uh, first time I'm going to try the Greg's vegan sausage roll. So here it goes. Pretty good. Yeah. I don't think I'd be able to tell that that was uh, vegan if I didn't know. Well done, Griggs. So I arrived in Glasgow yesterday to find that the uh, Glasgow International Film Festival, which has been running for a few weeks, uh, finished yesterday. Um, and there's an international book festival going on where a lot of writers come into the city. That starts on the day that I leave. And I've also just found that, so does this, the Glasgow International Comedy Festival. It starts on the 12th of March, and I'll have left by then. But look at the lineup.
it's really good. These things are to be found all over the city, so any Doctor Who fans. Um, there is actually a trail which uh, you can walk around and visit them all. So I'm using a website called citycentermuraltrail.co.uk and on there it's got um, a map that you can follow to see all the uh, street art in Glasgow. And uh, I'm just coming up to uh, the uh, first place on the map. I can actually see two examples over here. Um, so it's just coming up on my left hand side. So here we go. The street art trail begins. So there are 29 uh, places to see on this uh, street art trail that I'm following and um, this is uh, number four that I'm on so I could be out here quite a while, I've been walking about half an hour and seen three. Um, so yeah this is number four and it's incredible. And it runs for the whole length of the building too. Actually saw my first Highland cow yesterday after two weeks of being in Scotland. So that's number four of 29. And what I like about this one, I think my favourite thing about all of this is you've got all this incredible art and then right at the end you've got a little worm that's attention to detail fantastic
and I'm uh, halfway around the Street Art Trail. I've uh, seen 15 out of the 29. Um, my phone is exactly half uh, full of power and I've just had to change my battery on here. Um, so hopefully I should have uh, enough power to uh, get around the whole trail. There's one around here somewhere. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to get to it. Uh, but I'm going to give it a go. I'm looking for number 18, uh, but it's a bit of a maze around there. Lots of pedestrian bridges. I'm not exactly sure which way I'm supposed to go. I think I just need to follow this main road, so let's see if we can find number 18. <laughs> 